Our sun has been shining for 4.6 billion years, a glowing ball made of hydrogen and helium. The star's power plant is located in its interior. Here, temperatures of 15 million degrees prevail. The hydrogen atoms are composed of nuclei and electrons. This state of matter is called plasma. Hydrogen nuclei fuse with one another. Helium nuclei are produced and a great deal of energy. Plasma consists of positively charged atomic nuclei and negatively charged electrons. Therefore, it can be influenced by electric and magnetic fields. Just like this pen. And it can even be confined in magnetic field cages. And then in such a way that it does not touch the wall of a fusion chamber. Since the end of the 1940s, scientists in many countries had been trying to clarify the properties of plasma. However, good experimental results were rare. It was not till the end of the 60s that Russian scientists announced astonishing successes with their so-called tokamak device. Worldwide tokamak fever erupted. But after 10 years, the best results were still a factor of 25,000 below the requirements of a fusion power plant. But then the large joint European experiment, JET, went into operation in the United Kingdom. In 1997, the scientists there obtained results just a factor of six short of the ignition conditions of a plasma. The sun's fire came within reach for the first time. In 2007, in Cadarache in southern France, construction of the largest experiment in the history of fusion research began. Besides Europe, Russia, Japan and the USA, the project also included China, India and South Korea. The test reactor aimed at demonstrating that it is physically and technically possible to gain energy from fusion. In ITER, the essential fusion power plant technologies were deployed for the first time. 800 cubic meters of burning plasma was to generate 500 megawatts of power, about 10 times as much as was needed to heat the plasma. The fusing of the two hydrogen isotopes, deuterium and tritium, creates a helium nucleus and a neutron. 80% of the fusion energy is in the neutrons. They are not charged and therefore fly out of the magnetic field cage. They are slowed down in the walls of the plasma vessel. Thermal energy is produced and it can be converted to electric energy, just as in the old coal-fueled power plants.